obviously excited to have all of you here. Normally, I would talk about how there's only a few more times that the class will be all together. This year, we invited all the students who, are, who have achieved or earned an award as opposed to the entire class. Normally, we do this on the day of prom, and the whole class would be there. So I'm going to ask that as we go through and we read the recipients' names out, you're going to have to do one favor for me, and that is you're going to have to cheer extra loud for your classmates because we're going to have to make up for the other people who aren't here today. But that doesn't minimize what you've achieved this year because unlike any other class, you had to achieve it in an entirely different platform. You had to be resilient and resourceful in ways other classes haven't been. And for that, you should all be proud and you'll be better for it in the future. At this time, I'll turn it over to my co-host, Ms. Walsh, and she'll lead us through the, the award and the recipients. Good afternoon, Pirates. It's so great to have you here today. Uh, last year, around this same time, we did this ceremony virtually. Um, so I'm super excited to be here in person, uh, even though the entire class can't be here. Uh, it's great to see all of you here today. So we're going to go through the different departments, um, and we're going to honor some of you for some of the many things that you accomplished this year. The first department I would like to call up is uh, Mr. Nathan Leventhal for the Art Department. So, so you said I'm allowed to talk as long as I want, right? <laughs> as long as it's 30 seconds. All right, so every year we give out an art award, and just like most of the departments, and as a department, we look at the students and we decide kind of based upon seriousness of purpose, seriousness of intent, the way they work, the processes they use, um, any help they've given to the department, um, where they're going in their life, kind of are they consider continuing to pursue art, and all of those kind of categories, and we discuss and we come up with the person that we decide most exemplifies and supports the arts in a way that we want to recognize. Uh, it has been a little weird the last two years, obviously, the last year plus. Um, despite all of that, we had a very clear obvious choice, although the clear obvious choice this time was two people because we, as we debated back and forth, could not decide in any way which person had contributed more or was pursuing things with more heartfelt effort and things like that. So to give my awards, I would like to have a round of applause for both Wen Yi Guo and Wen Yi, run, run, run. She's right over there. <laughs> and Emily Wu. You just made it. All right. Yeah, so the, the name of this award, because we, we have a different award every year, and we try to specialize it towards the person that is getting it. No, no, you two stay there. Stay there. Well, that's okay. Um, this award, to make one award that kind of fit for both of them, it was a little tricky, but the name we decided on was the Never Going to Stop, You Cannot Make Me Award. Okay. Even though most of the world is virtual, I don't know if you two could have spent more time in the art room over the, over the last four years. This year, still, every day, I can't, you know, you live in the art room, pursuing your art, helping us out, so thank you. Just another little plug. Um, if you see Mr. Jenkins in the middle with our cameras here, 
Um, we didn't want to completely forget the rest of your classmates or your parents who we were unable to invite. So we are videotaping this entire ceremony and we will have a link that we will be able to send out to the class uh, and to your parents so that they will be able to watch this at their leisure. Our next person that I'll be calling up here is Mr. Matt Coburn to present the athletic awards. I will do whatever it takes to make my team successful, whether it's sitting on a bench, waving a towel, handing a cup of water to a teammate, or hitting the game-winning shot. The great late Kobe Bryant said that, and I believe it completely embodies the award winners that I have the honor of presenting to you today, um, whatever it takes. I got an email from our athletic director listing these five awards in the name of the five names of the five people who earned them. Ask if anyone would be willing to present them on the athletic department's behalf. I read those names and jumped at the chance, demanding that I get the honor, or excuse me, demanding that I get to honor these individuals because I've always known them to do whatever it takes to make their team successful. They've waved the towels, they delivered the water, they've made the game winning shot, so to speak. So to begin, there's five awards to give out. The first, the CVC, the CVC Sportsmanship Award is earned by two seniors who consistently display good sportsmanship, both in and out of competition. They carry themselves and their teammates with respect and integrity, show exceptional character, and give 110% of themselves to their team and teammates 110% of the time. So this year's CVC Sportsmanship Awards go to Heading to the University of Rochester, number 10, Meg the Hatchet Hanson. And heading to West Point, the countless varsity letter winner and cross country winter track and spring track, Patrick the Raptor Rankin. Next up, this year's Rex Walker Award is earned by two seniors who best exemplify the qualities of Mr. Rex Walker, the district's first athletic director and one South's baseball coach. Rex lived and breathed teamwork, teammanship, and team spirit. His memory lives on in the individuals who earn this award each and every year. So, this year's Rex Walker Awards go to Heading to University of Pittsburgh, number 23, Emma the Gavel Gartenberg. And Rutgers Bound ROTC program, number five, Andy the Beast Bay. final award I get to present is the NJSIA Scholar Athlete Award. And this award goes to a singular, singular graduating senior who has not only made an impact in sports, but is also able to balance their success in competition with their success in the classroom. <clears throat> this student has just done just that and more, playing, starting, and lettering in three different sports over the course of, course of four years. This student athlete has shown grit, determination, school spirit, team spirit, love of the game, and setting a new standard for what a student athlete should be and what they should do if they want to be successful. 
During the fall, it was rumored this individual could be seen shooting the basketball before school hours, only to go home, come back for classes, then attend soccer practice to finish off his day. During soccer, he was the one directing traffic in the back four with his teammates while trying to keep his goalies sheet clean. That means no goal scored. During lacrosse, he was the one learning the brand new sport in his brand new position, again, only to turn around and give advice to his teammates. Basketball was his passion, soccer his love, lacrosse his hobby. During the pandemic, instead of taking the, to the couch and video games, he took to the fire hall, became a member of the West Windsor Station 43 fire squad. This is the guy who teachers can't say enough good things about. This is the guy who took on extra shifts at his work. This is the guy that showed his new pirate peers around South during their first week of school as a peer leader. This is the guy who would say hi to you in the hallway between classes. And this is the guy who will be the answer to anyone who asks the question, what student could ever be expected to do this? Number five, Andy Bay. That's a tough act to follow. Okay, I'd like to call uh, to the podium uh, Ms. Bride, Mr. Scarpita, and Mr. Totoro to give out the uh, Business and Computer Department Awards. That is a tough act to follow, but I'm thrilled to be here today. I think you guys are going to get sick of me because I also have the privilege of awarding some of the engineering awards on my colleagues' behalf. So I'd like to start with the Excellence in Accounting Award. Accounting, while it seems a little dull, is actually the language of business. And so um, while we learn a lot about the mechanics of accounting, we also learn how to apply financial information to business making decisions. And the students I would like to award the Excellence in Accounting to exemplify integrity, inquisitiveness, a, a, exceptional analytical skills, and as a side note, are just exceptional human beings. So would you please uh, recognize with me the awards for excellence in accounting to Alex Chin, Mahika, Rach <laughs> Mahika Rachamalu, and Bill Zhang. They're out counting something. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. OK, I also get to the privilege to award excellence in marketing. Marketing is another class I teach. It involves a lot of creativity. Of course, it's a business program. And <coughs> excuse me. Um, the students who are engaged in marketing are asked to do a lot of presentations, on the spot thinking. Um, to be a marketer, you must be creative. You have to have a global perspective. Um, and you, again, have to be inquisitive. The students I nominated today have exceptional interpersonal skills. They are socially engaged with the world around them, and they actively advocate for others. When working collaboratively, they regularly take leadership roles, and they encourage their peers to achieve at their greatest uh, potential. These students are poised to change the world, and I'm happy to have been a part of their journey. Please help me recognize Evan Chartok and, and Anha Mehta.
Lastly, I'd like to recognize two additional students for excellence in, in business in general. These two, these two students, one of them I've had the pleasure of having for three years, one of them I've had the pleasure of having for two years. These are students who have taken all of the business options and who have excelled in all of them. Um, they represent students who are inquisitive, who are global thinkers, who have integrity beyond reproach, and who are, again, poised to change the world. Please help me recognizing Alexander Pascaver and Mary Pascaver for the Excellence in Business Award. I'll be back. Oh, Mr. Totaro gets a second introduction. Hello, everyone. My name is Bill Totaro. I teach marketing here at North, and I teach senior practicum and internship at both North and South. And so it's very, very, I'm very happy, I should say, to be proud to be a pirate today. So thank you for inviting me to present the awards uh, for excellence in the Senior Practicum Senior Internship Program. So maybe some of you don't know what that is, but in the fall, we go over some career basics in developing your career and developing the future. Because once you graduate from here, no matter what you do, at some point in your life, you're going to have to go out and earn a living. So, and how you do that is very important to you because they say, as they say, uh, the person who loves what they do never works a day in their life. So I'm happy to say that I hope we've given some opportunity to mm, about 28 students this year from both North and South to participate at different organizations and to try to see, not really know, because they're 17, 18 years old, how do they know what they're going to do? Maybe they have an idea. I have people my age, and I'm older than dirt, so they don't know what they're doing. So we hope to give them that opportunity. So excellence is something that you think about above all else and above everyone else, but I would say that everyone in this program is a winner. Everyone went out, did the best they could in a very difficult year, whether it was virtual, whether it was in person, whether it was a combination, whether it was hybrid, or whatever it was. They did their very best, as everyone did, to give their very best and get the very best out of it. So in saying that, I think the greatest compliment anyone could ever give you is, hey, what do you think? Because if I care what you think, that means you're important. And believe me, I look around this room and everyone in here is important. I really do care what you think. And that's why it was interesting, because what I can say about these two students are that they have risen above everything else and all the difficulties and did their best. But in getting feedback from their mentors at work, both said, I always like when they tell me what they think. When I ask them, they tell me what they think. And one says, she's working out great. She's easy to work with, very responsive. Let's us know what she thinks. And this is from the mentor. This is from the place where they're working. I'm giving her, I hope I'm giving her, a very good uh, overview of what it's like to work at a newspaper. Thanks. Bill Servino, senior community editor, Ewing, Observer, Lawrence Gazette, and West Windsor Plainsboro News. And the second one was, Jackie's doing great. She's very eager to learn, very responsible, does a great job. One of the best we ever had. She always tells us what she thinks. So I'm very thrilled and honored to present these awards to these two outstanding young women, Danny Sacharin and Jackie Rima.
Hello, everybody. Uh, I am not Mr. Scarpita. I am Mr. McCann. I'm a new computer science teacher. So everybody who is seeing me or hearing my name for the first time, hi. Uh, I'll be presenting the first two awards for excellence in computer science. Uh, I do have brief words to say about both these students, but the two awardees are Arshvir Sakdeva and Shyan Mirza. Arsh is here. All right. Uh, so Arsh, who is here, Arsh has demonstrated a high understanding of material throughout the course of this year, whether it was with a new topic or something he had previous experience in. In both cases, he has challenged himself to reach higher levels of understanding and show creative problem-solving skills. Not only is he an excellent student academically, but he's been hybrid since September, and his presence in class has been extremely positive, and we get more and more students back in the classroom. So. I am not Mr. McCann, I am Mr. Scarpita. I look out at the best of the best, and I feel inadequate because I was not the best of the best. Even in high school, I can remember language arts to this day. I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. Came to math, I failed so many tests, I can't count. Nothing? Tough crowd, tough crowd. I was really good at, so, at history, though. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't. I thought, uh, I thought I should throw a science joke in there. I had a good sodium joke, but then I thought, nah. But I had to open with some jokes, because if you had me, you know that's all I do in class is joke. And if you've watched the morning announcements, you know our two recipients like jokes. Uh, I noticed our two recipients a long time ago, but not because of their jokes. Uh, in class, they would come during lunch. They would come after class. They were the type of students who challenged me on what I teach. And what I teach is algorithms, logical structure. And they would come to me and say, I thought you could do it this way. And they were always challenging me. And those are the kind of students that improve me as a teacher and just make me a better programmer and everything. So I appreciated these two from uh, the day they came in. And, and I spoke to them earlier in the week, and I complained how I could never tell them apart. And I asked them, you know, wear different colors. And so obviously they wore green and green today. Sasha and Masha, come up and get your awards. I didn't really ever know how funny he was. Okay, I'm happy to introduce uh, Ms. Dawn Bozian for, oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Janine Bride, sorry, for the engineering department. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> Uh, today, I have the pleasure of awarding three students the Excellence in Engineering Award. I am not the engineer teacher, uh, the engineering teacher, I should say. Ms. E. Dory is currently unavailable. However, I did ask her to give me some words about what this award means and some individual um, feedback on the uh, recipients. So I'm thrilled to share Ms. E. Dory's thoughts with you guys here today. Ms. Edor shares that the Excellence in Engineering Award recognizes students who demonstrate strong engineering habits of mind, including creativity, optimism, persistence, and conscientiousness. The selected individuals have exceptional leadership skills and have significantly contributed to a positive classroom environment conducive to collaborative learning and experiences for all. 
The first recipient of the Engineering Award is Vani Bhatnagar. Apologies if I mispronounced it. Come on up, Vani. Ms. Edor would like to tell you that Vani's love for learning is vibrant and she has a passion for engineering. She is diligent, confident, resourceful, and immerses herself in every opportunity to expand her knowledge and experience. Vani has pursued her interests inside and outside of the classroom and has grown tremendously along the way. Vani volunteered as Ms. Edor's lab assistant, where she not only helped maintain our engineering lab, but also mentored other engineering students and inspired them to reach their full potential. That's a theme here. Ms. Edor is exceptionally proud of Vani for independently designing and implementing a two-day 3D printing workshop for middle and high school students in India. Congratulations, Vani. The second recipient of the Engineering Award, Excellence in Engineering Award, is Rocco Procaccini. Apologies if I mispronounced it. Rocco is motivated and independent critical thinker with a clear vision. He has strong self-awareness and pursues his passions by seamlessly integrating them into his engineering projects. Rocco was always eager to help Ms. Edor set up and maintain lab equipment, to learn new tools and processes, and to implement them into his work. Ms. Edor is exceptionally proud of, of Rocco for his open-mindedness and his fearless approach to learning. Congratulations, Rocco. Not here. The final recipient of the Excellence in Engineering Award is Christopher Howard. No? I'll share with you his excellence. Chris is a bright, imaginative, imaginative and quick-witted individual with a natural ability to navigate ambiguous challenges. He showed tremendous growth over the two years that Ms. Edor taught him and has demonstrated strong collaboration skills. Ms. Edor is exceptionally proud of Chris for his eagerness to share his knowledge with others so that they can achieve common goals. Congratulations to Chris as well. Congratulations to all of you. Now I'd like to welcome Ms. Dawn Bozian to the stage to give the Family Consumer Science Department Awards. Good afternoon, I'm Ms. Bozian. Thank you. <laughs> um, you must be so excited. It's the end of a crazy time in your life. I know I'm excited for you. Uh, so anyway, it's been a tradition of our department, once called the Life Skills Department, now the Family and Consumer Science Department, to honor one or more students who have demonstrated excellence in one or more classes and service to the department. Each year, seniors recognized who has done this and the individual we are delighted to recognize this year has been a student in three different courses since her freshman year within the department, one in each with th all three of us teachers, and earned an A average in each course. In each class, she has not only demonstrated tenacity and drive to do well, she has also displayed an innate desire to contribute to the classroom environment and assisting her classmates and her teachers. In addition, this individual also participated in the Youth Teaching Youth Program as a junior. Donating her time that same year prior to the lockdown, she also was a teaching assistant in the Pirate Preschool. And currently, as a senior, has been involved in the Child Growth and Development Program as part of her senior option experience. It is with sincere delight and joy that I present this year's department award to Sophia Capuano. And I guess I'll hand deliver it to her. 
Thank you. Okay, let's give a round of applause for the Language Arts Department, Ms. Glassman, Ms. Riley, and Ms. Scheller. So there are quite a bit of awards for the language arts department. I'm going to announce for the most improved in language arts and most improved in ESL. So we'll start with the most improved in language arts. The students receiving the most improved in language arts award have demonstrated their consistent dedication to growing and strengthening their communication skills. Through continued practice of engaging with text in all forms, these students have determined to develop the art of not only understanding the stories of the world, but also sharing with the world their stories. We are tremendously proud of their growth and are honored to recognize their achievements. Please join me in recognizing the following students for the most improved in language arts. Madara Vishwanan Edavayanaman. Sophia Lareski, Mark Tiganilla, and Nicholas Wachowski. All right, so now the most improved in ESL. So the students receiving the most improved in ESL have both made substantial progress in their command of the English language and have come to be leaders with their fellow English language learner peers. They have worked hard in establishing strong relationships with both their teachers and their classmates. We are tremendously proud of their growth and are honored to recognize their achievements. Please join me in recognizing the following students. Sorry. Uh, Mikhail Volkov and Alicia Chang. Gonna do this. Good afternoon, everyone. It's pretty wonderful to see this many people in real life, I have to tell you. Um, before I get to specific language arts awards, we have a new award this year that we're going to give in several departments, and it's my honor to present it um, first, the Pirate Ore Award. So what is the Pirate Ore Award? Well, we believe that our South ship moves forward with the strength of those working the oars. Without these valuable members of the crew, we might be stuck in still waters. Their hard work and positive attitudes keep us afloat and moving in the right direction. For language arts, the Pirate Aura or Award goes to a student who has been a self-advocate, who has worked hard and demonstrated growth in all areas of language arts, and that is Druville Jasani. Congratulations. The following awards are for students who have demonstrated a love of and commitment to language arts. These are students who enter class or a Zoom call with smiles on their faces and with their cameras on, eager and ready to learn. They value the written word, they read for personal pleasure and enrichment in their free time, 
and they show sincere interest in the academic study of literature. I do have quite a few, but I will read them one at a time and leave time for applause. Um, and these are from several teachers in the department because you are all truly loved. Congratulations to the following impressive students. Natalie Agnes. Tuba Ahmed. Vaishali Shah. I guess these two go in a pair, Mary and Alexandra Pashkova. <laughs> Elizabeth Nielsen. Sorry. Carol Sun. Deshik Ayengar. Sachi Bhagwat. Elisa Busha. She's not here. Congratulations to all of you. And now for more Language Arts Awards. Um, my awards are for excellence in language arts. And um, I remember one of my, my, my children had a teacher in, uh, it was religious school, and she, she was from Israel, and she would tell my daughter that she was the goodest one, the goodest one, and put stickers on her head. And, um, when I looked up the definition of excellence, uh, it actually says that it is a person who is exceeding goodness. So that's what this award is for. Excellence in language arts constitutes outstanding achievement as an analytical reader, writer, thinker, and communicator. In advanced placement, literature, and composition, we talk about reading poetry for pleasure, as an esoteric pursuit. And while that's true, I just know that these students will go on to share their enthusiasm for poetry and the written word and spread the love. The following seniors have surpassed goodness in language arts. Mason Lim. Jonathan Sauer. Irina Chen. Riddy Reddy. Jackson Lemond. Molly Wong. Daphne Howe. Mahita Kanduri. <laughs> Melinda Chen. Congratulations. Okay, terrific. The next uh, department will be our math department, so let's uh, cheer loud for Ms. Silva and Mr. Marquez. Hello, Pirates. 
The math department ce celebrates all of you. We are so proud of all the work you have done over the course of the past four years here. We've watched you grow in your understanding, knowledge, and most importantly, your problem solving. You have made lots of mistakes and you've endeavored to learn from each and every one of them. You're resilient, hardworking, and together we have studied algebra, geometry, statistics, and maybe even a little bit of calculus. We have pushed you to think deeply and you have pushed us to be the best teachers that we can be. Today, we will highlight some members from your class for their outstanding growth and accomplishments in the field of mathematics. Our first award goes to Math Practitioners. The Math Practitioner Award is given to students who have shown exemplary growth in their problem solving skills, perseverance, and pursuit of conceptual knowledge. The awardees are Kennedy Jean Jack, Damian Moshman, Priyanka Rajan, and Andy Hu. We've also had the pleasure of honoring our outstanding mathematicians. These seniors have shown dedication to learning. They have challenged themselves with the highest level of coursework. And I've had the pleasure and honor to have each of these students in my courses. Our outstanding mathematicians are An Sharma, Irina Chen, Nitin Raganti, and Melinda Chen. The math department also has a Pirate Or Award similar to language arts. The recipient of the Pirate Or Award has demonstrated the perseverance needed to be successful in mathematics. This award is given to Cheyenne Ramos. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next department is the media department, and uh, I'm actually going to present those awards on behalf of Mr. Glenn Allison. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll talk a little bit about them, but then I'm going to call the recipients up and talk about the recipients while you're standing in front of your classmates. So the award, uh, this award uh, for the media department is for dedication, contributions, and superior accomplishments in the South Campus Broadcasting Program, including radio, TV, audio, and video production, broadcast writing, broadcast journalism, screenplay development, et cetera. Selected students are consistently uphold and model the program's high road philosophy. The four recipients this year, if you would come to the stage, are Nick Witkowski, Moses Harris, <laughs> Lindsay Bizanoff, and Levi Elias. These words are uh, from Mr. Glenn Allison. So we'll start with Nick. Nick Wachowski's pride, drive, inspiration, and motivation became a big part of the spirit, heart, and success of the Pirate Radio Station over the past couple of years. Along the way, he emerged into the lead South sportscaster for 107.9 FM, and he discovered his passion and great talent for audio production and vocal acting, often going on a long creative streak that became known as a Nick Roll. He plans to take his talents next year to Ryder University to study communication, broadcasting, and film. Congratulations, Nick. Go Bronx. Moses Harris brought positivity, personality, and a big smile to the studios each and every day of his three-year career. 
His spirited impact was matched by his dedication to editing and his mastery of documentary style production and broadcast journalism. He will continue on a similar path as he prepares for the School of Media and Art Design at James Madison University. Dan. Lindsay Bizanoff provided a quiet and subtle leadership style that was a key factor in the broadcasting program's success this year, despite the challenges of the pandemic. Through the years, in addition to mastering audio and video production, she emerged as an accomplished writer of screenplays and a master of satire. She will continue developing her screenwriting and comedy writing skills next year at Boston University, where she will major in film and television. Levi Elias's legacy and impact will long last his graduation in June. After three years of building superior skills in all aspects of radio, TV, and broadcast journalism, Levi was awarded the broadcasting program's top leadership position, station manager, for both radio and TV. Facing unprecedented challenges this year, he managed to transform 107.9 FM and the program's video productions into hybrid success stories, while also inspiring and mentoring a new generation of future broadcasters, all while serving as a model for taking the high road. His creative talents and nonstop sense of humor were on display throughout his career in the Saturday Night Live parodies, his late night talk shows, his song parodies, his highly successful 107.9 radio show and podcast, and even in his everyday dealings with his staff. Next year, Levi will take his talents and personality out west to study comedy and writing for screen and television at the University of Southern California's School of Cinematic Arts. Congratulations, Levi. I would like a loud round of applause for our music department, Mr. Jesse Argenziano and Mr. David Wieskowski. Good afternoon, you beautiful pirates. Thank you for having me. Normally with our band awards, we present them at a catered banquet at Mercer Oaks, the dinner dance party, but due to the pandemic, I've chosen to have the awards here. I thought it would be much more special for our seniors. Senior awards are very hard to choose, especially with a senior class like this and all the talent that, that they had. And especially having to, to do it during a year of a pandemic where I didn't get to physically work with these amazing students. So everyone deserves an award, but I only have a few to give. So we're going to go take a revisit the fall, back to our marching man season. First, I would like to present the National Color Guard Award, presented to a senior for outstanding performance throughout four years, and a contribution to the Color Guard and the Pirate Marching Band. This year's recipient will be Ms. Marie Komischke. Our second award is the National Marching Band Award for outstanding performance and contributions to the Pirate Marching Band for all four years. This student was selected to be drum major this year but did not get to appreciate the experience that a drum major should experience on the podium. So please congratulate with me, Mr. Adarsh Thacker. Our third award, the Director's Award, honors an outstanding band member for their service beyond the stage, behind the scenes, outside of the performance. Someone who has been there for me when I needed them and was there for me when I didn't realize that I needed them helped me get some things done to organize this massive music program. This year's Director's Award recipient goes to Miss Elizabeth Nielsen.
Our fourth award, Patrick S. Gilmore Award, is awarded for outstanding contributions to the band and performance and the overall accomplishments, even when giving challenging situations, whether that be physical, oral, mental, emotional. This person succeeded despite what was put in front of them. This year's Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award goes to Mr. Jackson Lamont. Our last two awards are musicianship awards, not just based on the quality of performance and playing, but when I sit back and analyze the last four years of our experiences together within my groups, sometimes it can come down to who played just that one note better? The senior class is so good. Our first musicianship award is called the Leonard Bernstein Award. In his long career, Bernstein made an indelible mark on the musical world as a conductor, composer, and teacher. This award will honor students whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition for their achievements. This year's Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award goes to alto saxophonist Edward Zhang. And finally, our most prestigious award, which goes to the number one musician within our band program is called the John Philip Sousa Award. Introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in the high school band, the John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. It was created with the approval of Helen Sousa Albert and Priscilla Sousa, daughters of the famous composer and bandmaster. This year's award is given to a clarinet player who has been on the ball on the A game since the first note she played for me freshman year. This award goes to Miss Vicki Liu. I'll pass the baton over to my colleague, Mr. Wistowski. Good afternoon and congratulations, seniors. The choir department has four awards that we present annually, and this year it was a very difficult decision as so many of the seniors rose to the occasion and rose above the challenges that were presented by COVID. The first award is the David Christensen Choir Award. This award is presented to a senior who has gone above and beyond what's expected of him or her. This year's recipients are hardworking, dedicated, strong musicians who have always been willing to share their time and talents with the choir program and our a cappella groups. They have worked incredibly hard both in and out of class time to help create an environment where everyone's unique talents could be recognized and celebrated. They have also been willing to give up their study halls all year to serve as a lab assistant for the Corral, where they proved to be an invaluable resources. It's my great pleasure to award the David Christensen Choir Award to Ivy Pico and Raghavi Venkatesh. The next award is the Mark Fleming Scholarship. This award is given to a senior who has demonstrated leadership integrity, service, and strong character. This year's recipient embodies all of those traits and then some. He is an excellent musician, a strong and caring leader, and an all-around wonderful young man. I'm pleased to award the Mark Fleming Scholarship to Robert Dean. The National School Choir Award is the highest honor for a high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication, leadership, and achievement of the top choral students in programs across the United States. To preserve the integrity of this award, schools are limited to only two recipients each year. On a daily basis, these students have demonstrated what hard work, dedication, and resourcefulness look like in model students. They were never afraid to speak their minds, to lead by example, and show others how amazing and impactful vocal music can be. 
So, in recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement, of outstanding contribution to the success of the school choir program, and an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of con conduct by the general consent of the music faculty and school officials, I am elated to present the National School Choir Award to Arjun Chakraborty and Kaylin Lee. Okay, to play off of uh, Mr. Scarpita's science joke, let's welcome our science department. Um, Manakshi Bhattacharya, Ms. Barbara Fortunato, Ms. Kate Heavers, Ms. Cindy Jaworski, and actually Mr. Kevin Scully is, uh, instead of Manakshi Bhattacharya, sorry. Welcome them, round, round, large round of applause. First, we'd like to thank you for all of your hard work and dedication um, in your science classes. The science department awards are based not only on academic performance in class, but more importantly, they are awarded to students who show a deep passion for science, a curiosity for how the universe works, integrity, grit, and a collaborative and helpful approach that benefits all students around them. Mr. Scully, you want to go first? So I'm presenting the award for Outstanding Senior in Biology. Now, I didn't have this student as a senior. In fact, uh, I had the pleasure of having the student as a freshman in Honors Biology. Uh, not only that, but the student served as my lab aide for AP Environmental Science and was an integral and critical part of our Science Olympiad team in the life sciences. Particularly in the same event I specialized in when I was on the Science Olympiad team, the human, human anatomy event, and also the protein folding event. And I don't think protein folding existed when I was in high school, but I'm sure if it had, I would have been interested also. Excellent in biology, certainly shows a passion for life sciences and just a wonderful person. We'd like to present this award to Daphne Howe. Good afternoon. I'd like to present the award for excellence in chemistry to a student who I've seen grow in both um, the classroom and his helping of others and in our science Olympiad team and in also in the chemistry Olympiad contest. So I'd like to give this award to Chung Lee. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to give two awards. The first is to someone for outstanding science scholarship in a virtual setting. And these are the words of Miss Melissa Nod. Hold on. This person has been a consistent, active participant to class discussions all year. He not only answers questions, but is also intriguing queries about whatever we are studying. Moreover, he is a genuinely kind, funny, and polite student who contributes to the overall class vibe. This award goes to Noah Choi. And the second award is for an outstanding senior in applied science. I wrote this one. This student is a passionate learner who devoted her energies to achieving excellence in human anatomy and physiology. She is keen 
on becoming a doctor and will pursue her medical studies in a seven-year degree program. She showed up for every Zoom call this year with enthusiasm and excitement and poured her energy into every lab, online activity, and research project this year. Virtual school did not deter her. Nothing will stop her from achieving her dreams of helping others through medicine. This year's Applied Science Award goes to Deepti Athreya from Period 5 <laughs> for her excellence in scholarship and intellectual leadership. Congratulations. Okay, I have three more for the science department. Um, the first is the award for outsta outstanding senior in physics. So this student is not only academically outstanding, but he has a clear passion for physics. Studying independently for the F equals MA exam, he qualified for semifinal two years in a row. He's a great lab aide. He demonstrates curiosity and has helped others and even pushed others in his lab group to go above and beyond the curriculum to investigate more advanced physics topics. This year's award for outstanding senior in physics goes to Anj Sharma. The next award, the next award is the Orr Award for Strength and Growth in Science, as Ms. Glassband described. This uh, award goes to a student who is motivated and shown great interest and work ethic in the sciences. This, the Science Orr Award goes to Pernay Gomez. One, one last award, um, the award for outstanding, outstanding Senior in Science overall. Do you want to start? This is another student who I haven't had in my classroom since freshman honors biology. But this particular student just struck every teacher who was involved academically or in, in any way as just such an excellent science student, but also just loves science in, in every form kind of an, an interesting situation in that this particular student didn't take all of our AP classes, but they still impressed us in every way, in every class they were in, with their deep and abiding passion for every area of science. This student showed unending curiosity, an openness to new ideas, creativity, an excellent work ethic, and a collaborative approach. She has been super helpful to me as a lab aide, both in person and virtually for two years. This uh, out, award, excuse me, award for outstanding senior in science overall goes to Melinda Chen. All right, let's welcome to the stage Mr. Mike Garzio and Ms. Erin Schomburg to present the Social Studies Awards. This is a nice tent. <laughs> got the up lighting. This thing here, that's got to be a, what, a couple hundred extra at least, right? Man, 
It's the prom tent, all right? Good luck chaperoning, everybody. Um, all right, everybody in here? It's nice, because I actually like know most of you. I see your faces before. Um, go home and thank your parents, all right? Most importantly, uh, because they put you in this spot, right? Uh, they decided to move to West Windsor Plainsboro and sacrifice entertainment and nightlife and, you know, things like that so that you can get, and look, everybody pretty much in this room is in the same place, right? Everybody's graduating high school. Everybody's going to the next step, going on beyond that. And, you know, how you get there or how you've gotten there, you know, that matters just as much as where you are. Right, because that, that determines who you are, not just what you are. Right? There's your proving ground. The proving ground that you choose matters. It really does. And all right, should I just go? <laughs> Mr. Leppo looks very relaxed right now. This is the first most relaxed he's ever been with me. <laughs> Especially with me in front of a crowd of people and a microphone. It's never, it's been, it's, it's nice. All right. all right, so, and and these social studies awards this year, we have, we have quite a few of them, all right, because the way it works basically is we go, we peruse around, we ask social studies teachers, and everybody's like, oh, I like this kid, oh, they're, you know, they're great for me, and we have a conversation, and then generally I act like a baby, and I'm like, I want this person, or these people definitely, and then they give me, and then we negotiate a little bit and stuff like that. But th these are really character awards this year. Is more because there's been challenges this year, and I, I really think that we're we're not just giving away awards for the people that took the most AP classes or or things like that. We're we're giving away character awards. The people that took harder roads, the people that took a more challenging path, and we're going to start with the Pirate Or Award, and this one's going to go to a very conscientious and um, inquisitive hi historical student, and that's Jalil Archie. <laughs> Jalil, come on up, be recognized. All right, this next person, as we were talking, this, this name kept coming. I don't know this person personally, uh, but the name kept coming up, and, and you know, almost every, every social studies teacher that's ever had this young man uh, has, can attest to his talent and character, uh, and that's Mason Lim. Yeah, that's another thing too, you know, these, these, when, we, when, we, when we decide on these, it's not just like, you know, oh, well, this person did really good, it's, it's you know, no, this per you know, people make an impact on teachers. Uh, and Shayla Mills is the next person we're going to recognize. <laughs> okay, again, a name that kept coming up over and over and over again. Uh, a lot of teachers speak very highly of this young lady, Ali Rome. Okay, uh, this this young lady is actually in my AP government class right now, and uh, from the first day I could tell the level of talent and the way, they, the way that she thought through issues. Um, you know, it's, she wasn't in school. It was, you know, I, I think if we had our normal class this year, it would have been something really special because we had a really good group. Uh, Vivida Venkatrajan. All right, now, I have a few more here. 
And I have to say, these are all National History Day folks. Uh, for those of you who don't know what National History Day is, it's a year-long research project. It's a very heavy academic lift that requires a lot of dedication. And every single one of these names that I'm going to call has brought at least one project in their high school career to the national level, which makes them the top 100 in the country. There's only two that come out of each state. And a couple of these people compete against each other. So that makes it even, even harder because we kind of cannibalized a little bit. Uh, the first person came in as a sophomore and has been impressive ever since, uh, Aster Rossi. Web, she's a, she builds websites. Uh, the next person, uh, take a good look when she's on her way up because you'll probably be working for her one day. Uh, has, I mean, outside of the documentaries that she creates, uh, her, her ability as a leader is, um, it's, it's not common. It really isn't. Uh, she's done some incredible work over the years. She really has. That's Carol's son. Oh, uh, the next person writes uh, really, really well um, and has brought a paper, I believe, to the national level. Uh, definitely a state qualifier. Um, and, it, it, you know, it's, it's a name that keeps coming up, and that's Alexandra Pascaver. Well, you know, all these people can be, can be published somewhere, for sure. It's like, it's beyond graduate level work. Uh, this person actually had a paper go to nationals as a freshman, which is really hard, because you're competing against people who are seniors. And it was her freshman year, and I believe it was a uh, Nuremberg, was it Nuremberg? It was something, World War II, right? That's Arya Sosne. By the way, they've all, they've all had the additional challenge of doing it while I was their advisor, okay? Which makes it even harder. Uh, the next person I remember had a paper go to nationals. It was a paper about Mormons, and that's Mary Pascaver. All right, this person has literally had a documentary go to nationals every single year, every year, and has been a finalist, uh, I think, multiple times at this point. Melinda Chen. And then, sorry, everybody, you got to stand up here a while. Um, and then this person has had a document, or I'm sorry, a website go to nationals every single year. Uh, she's been a student here, and that's Anika Kapoor. <laughs> and that's it, I'm done. All right, let's welcome Miss Marilyn Stoddard to the stage for her theater and senior drama awards. Um, first of all, oh, I need my glasses, I won't be able to see. The one person I didn't want to go after was Mr. Garzio. Uh, because he's so like cool and like laid back and doesn't really, you know, it sounds like he hasn't prepared anything and it comes off great anyway. 
Um, congratulations to each and every one of you. This makes me confused because I can't see you when I do that. Um, you're almost completely off of Zoom and onto your college campuses, so kudos to you. You did it. This part was not, um, this part was not planned, but as a teacher and a parent, um, academics are important. They are, right? They are. We all want our, our kids to do well. But as I sat over there and wrote down these words, resilient, tenacity, collaborative, team player, passionate, dedicated, kind, compassionate, caring, pursuer of excellence, pursuer of goodness, helpful, polite, etc. The list goes on. I would much rather have my child explained or described in that way than, gosh, they're really smart. So I really want to congratulate all of you for the attributes that you've presented here because clearly you've made a, a huge impression on your teachers. So congratulations to everyone. Um, you would think I wouldn't get nervous as a theater person, but I hate to do this. Um, I'd like to call the following uh, students up uh, and I'd like you just to hold your applause and if you can all just stand in front of the stage, from stage right to stage left. Um, Lindsay Bizanoff, Marissa Carroll, Evan Chartok, Arjun Chakaborty, John Kiernan, Luke Kiernan, Kaylin Lee, Mason Lim, Ivy Pico, Yusuf Resby, Harrison Young, and Satch Berger. Um, so while the students are making their way on stage, I'd like to give you a little history behind the theater mug. Um, to mug in theatrical terms means to pose with your face uh, frozen towards the audience, um, and that is your mug. So in the spirit of mugging, the students will be presented with a real mug that contains two items. Um, one, mints, so that you'll have clean, fresh breath when you make your first impression on your new college campus. And then two, a gift certificate to Dunkin' Donuts, so you'll be fully caffeinated when you pull your first all-nighter or to help you get through those late night rehearsals. Um, now just a little bit about acting uh, and theater students in general. As actors and theater students, you all have become accustomed to bringing a script to life. However, in an unprecedented year like this, all bets were off, and we had to improvise and create our own masterpieces. In the spirit of the true pirates that you are, and always will be, once a pirate, always a pirate, you found the treasure not only within yourselves, but managed to share the wealth of your talent with the entire community. This year was challenging, no doubt, but like true artists, you remained steadfast and dedicated to your craft. Over the past year, you've exemplified professionalism, courage, and creativity, and you did not allow your circumstances to get in the way of your artistry. This afternoon, we honor you for your contribution to the theater programs here at High School South, and we celebrate the impact you've had on our program. However, in this crazy year, I'd like to honor one student in particular who has demonstrated a relentless and unwavering commitment to all things theater. His positive demeanor, collaborative nature, leadership skills, and perpetual, thank you five, will sorely be missed. I can see everybody knows exactly who this is right now. The person receiving this award not only embodies the spirit of the theater program here at South, but embodies the qualities of a model citizen. Through his leadership in Pirate Players, he has impacted future generations of South students by presenting plays at both the elementary and middle school levels that tackle important issues ranging from mental illness and gun violence to gossip and bullying. This young man epitomizes what it means to be a true theater kid. He has a genuine love for theater, takes tremendous pride in our program, and is willing to pitch in whenever and wherever needed, whether it's backstage, on stage, or off stage. I'm very happy to present this year's South Theater Award to Mr. Evan Chartok.
All right, let's give a warm welcome to our World Language Department, and we're going to welcome Senor Mancada, Senor Kelly, Vivian Yu, and Professor Martin. Hello, seniors. I am Senora Moncada, and I wanted to say congratulations, felicitaciones, enhorabuena. Um, we're super proud of you, especially with what you've done in this last year. Um, so the World Language Department chooses seniors that have distinguished themselves among their peers, and we'd like to acknowledge their hard work and thank them for inspiring us as teachers. So we're going to start with the Spanish Awards. Um, on behalf of Ms. Kelly, um, I want to present an award to Maria Mendez for going above and beyond. OK, so the other three students have been mine. Um, the first one is Elisa Bouchard. Alisa took uh, AP Spanish literature as a junior, so just to give you an idea of how advanced she is. Um, the other two students are my uh, students in AP Spanish literature this year. I also taught them in Spanish for honors as sophomores. Um, both just go above and beyond, just like Alisa. Um, they always want to learn more, um, and to teach them is absolutely a blessing for me. So Sachi Bagua and Priyanka Rajan. Uh, next up, we'll do the Chinese awards. Miss Yu. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations to all of you. And uh, you should be proud of your hard work. We really appreciate your dedication, commitment, passion. And you are willing to make efforts during the pandemic situation, which is really, really not easy. But I'm proud of you guys. Now, please join me to acknowledge these awards to the seniors. Chao Si Chen, Chen Ziwen. Marie Komishke. Aria Sesnet, Molly Wong, Huang Yizhen, Felicitations à tous. I am so happy to see so many wonderful, brilliant students receiving the awards that they deserve. So many of you, I couldn't give an award to you today, but I wish I could have. And so in the AP French program, I have uh, had a very difficult time choosing because as you can imagine, amongst 25 students, there are some incredible French students. I had to choose three, and I am uh, going to present them to you now. The first one, I'm not sure if she is here. It is for Ankita Nair. <laughs> Ankita has truly one of the most remarkable minds I've ever had the opportunity to encounter. She is very discreet. She is precise. She is creative. She does consistent, excellent work, so much that the first time I saw her do her writing in French, I thought perhaps this had been a Google Translate, and it wasn't. 
then I thought, well, surely she nev she is, she's very discreet. She doesn't speak so much. She's not the first one to participate. Surely she doesn't speak so well. Her French is nearly perfect when she speaks. She is truly a remarkable student, and I think that we don't, she, she is, is, is not uh, well known in the class because of her discretion, but she is going to go very far, perhaps at the UN. The second student, yes, please everyone give her a great applause. The second student, whom I don't know what I would have done without this year is, or last year as well, whom I've known as well for two years, is for wonderful, magnificent Vivida Venkatrajan. <laughs> Vivida is consistently there, consistently participating, consistently excited. She will stay after class to ask the questions, and that is the type of student that you want. She's also incredibly poised, and she also is going to go very far. I can't wait to see what she does with her French skills in the future. Now, the third one I think is going to be obvious to everybody. It goes to Mr. Deshik. Yengar. Deshik has been my partner in crime all year there when no one else was. Every morning, even before I got there, he was there in French class. But it goes far, much further back than that. He, he impressed me from the very first day last year in French for honors. And then I will tell you what really blew me away. And this is maybe not something that every teacher would like to know. But last summer, right after I thought that I had started my summer vacation, I got an email from Deshik saying, uh, Professor, j'adore écrire, I love to write. I, I'm interested in writing some short stories. Would you like to read them for me and look them over for me? Okay, so what teacher wants to be doing, but Deshik is a remarkable, incredibly talented writer, and I spent the summer reading his incredible short stories about the French mafia, about, <laughs> about the, <laughs> the French mafia mixed with cuisine, the cuisine française. He was amazing. So, congratulations to these three beautiful students. Thank you so much for the privilege. Yes. Bravo et merci. For our next award, I'd like to call up our world language supervisor, Ms. Sherry Sizemore. So our world language program is a model program in New Jersey and throughout the United States. And part of it is the supervisors we've had. And Ms. Sizemore has guided this department over the last, um, how many years now? Eight. Last eight years. I met Ms. Sizemore when she was a substitute and I was a language arts teacher at High School South. Um, but we've worked together to try to find the best teachers we could possibly find. We've scoured everywhere to find these teachers. It wasn't easy, but we found some good ones. Yes. Um, however, today we like to honor um, some special students that really went above and beyond in the world language department. They've earned the seal of biliteracy. The New Jersey State Seal of Biliteracy was established to recognize high school graduates who have attained a high level proficiency in one or more world languages in addition to English. By achieving this state seal of biliteracy, students have successfully demonstrated that they are able to speak, read, listen, and write in two or more languages at a high level proficiency. 
Congratulations to the 2021 graduates who have earned the seals. So I'll call the names up if you could line up in front here. Could I just make a statement? Sure, go ahead. Um, the state has not yet been able to actually deliver the seals to us. It doesn't come from our district, it comes from the state. Those of you that have earned this award have taken rigorous assessment and passed everything that the state has asked you to do. But there's a pandemic, I don't know if you knew. Um, and, and the state is a little behind. Uh, so hopefully you will get your actual seals it, with your diploma at graduation, but we don't actually have them in hand yet, but we would like to recognize you today. So when I call your name, if you could just come up and line up in front of the stage. Devin Argawala. Oh, Irvi Bajani. Kretwa Biswas. Elise Bouchier. Heather Butler. Ethan Chen. Jesse Chang, Manya Defa, uh, sorry, Deva Prasad, Fennel Gala, Andy Hugh, Deshik Ayengar, Anika Kapoor, Igor Kuzmeshev, Ankita Nair, Vinayak Nair, Akshita Padalkar, Priyanka Rajan, Daniello Reese, Arya Sosny, Vanessa Shock, Sockets Subramanian, Zal Tan, Ardash Takur, Harini, all right, give me a second, Venkatilapati, Galapathi, sorry, uh, Vividia, Vakantrajan, Sidney Yam, and Michael Zailoff. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. This is not an easy thing, and you, and you did it all assessing remotely. We're very, very proud of you. And, and once again, we will make sure that you have your seal of biliteracy, either when we distribute your books or when you turn your Chromebooks in. We'll make sure that by graduation you have them, as long as the state gets them to us, okay? Yeah. Congratulations, everyone. You. You're welcome. Ms. Walsh will help me with the next award. Again, we will call up a group of students who have earned this award. These students have earned the National Merit Scholar. To be considered for the National Merit Scholarship, semifinals have to fulfill requirements to advance to the final standing. Each semifinal submits a detailed scholarship application, which includes essays and information about extracurricular achievements, awards, leadership positions. Semifinals also have to have an outstanding academic record, be endorsed and recommended by a school official, and earn SAT scores that confirm their qualifying test performance. From the semifinalist group, a certain number of students varying from year to year advance to final standing depending on the above criteria. By the conclusion of the competition, a select group of finalists are chosen to receive a prestigious National Merit Scholarships totaling nearly $35 million. Winners are the finalist catalysts judged to have the strongest combination of academic skills and achievements, extracurricular accomplishments, and potential for success in rigorous university studies. Scholarship winners represent fewer than 1% of the initial pool of student entrants based on official statistics released by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. For the following students, please come up front and uh, receive your National Merit Certificate. Samvit Agarwal, Kasim Balil, Petra Biswas, Melinda Chen, Daphne Hyo, Adam Huang, Priyanka Rajan, Arya Sasni, June Shao, Ant Sharma, Nikhil Srinivasan, Joseph Vincent, 
If you guys can just move to your right, if everybody can take a few steps to your right so we can get straight across, thank you. Catherine Zhang and Edward Zhang. And one more big round of applause for all of our National Merit Scholars. Congratulations. You guys go back to have a seat. And we have two last awards to be presented today. So normally we have one award or principal award this year. We decided to have two. Again, based on what everybody has been through and what contributions, it was really difficult to just choose one. So our first recipient of the Principal Award, the winner of the 2021 Principal Award goes to a student who has tirelessly dedicated himself to High School South. This person has not only been an active member of South's MUN, but also student council. Starting merely as a representative, announcing South's dodgeball events, and then aspiring to create a student council 5K fun run. This student has worked hard to rise through the ranks of student council with his iconic rap speeches during election time to become South Council student president. Then as the crowning achievement during the toughest time as not only the student of South, but as a South senior gave the morning announcements a complete overhaul, leaving his legacy as voice of the South. It gives me great pleasure to honor Fanayak Nair with the 2021 Principal Award. And the second recipient, this year's recipient is an individual who radiates positive energy wherever she goes. Whether she's in the classroom, on the athletic field, or in the community, her school spirit and charisma captures the attention of those around her. In fact, it is her emotional intelligence that sets her apart from others, and one of the qualities that led her to be selected as a peer leader in our school. Her leadership skills have also afforded her the opportunity to be selected to represent the female athletes in Mercer County as a New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association Student Advisory Board. It is evident that she is highly regarded as a role model in a variety of capacities, both in and out of the school setting. Furthermore, as a three-season varsity athlete in soccer, basketball, and lacrosse, she leads by example, not only through her leadership roles, but also through her steadfast work ethic and devotion to her teammates. Her efforts extend to the community as president of Relay for Life, which fundraises for the American Cancer Society, volunteering at the Jewish Community Youth Foundation, as well as Homefront. This is just the beginning of her journey. Her next chapter begins this fall at the University of Pittsburgh, where she plans to pursue a degree in physical therapy. I'm proud to present the second Principal's Award to Emma Gartenberg. <laughs> This concludes, our, this concludes our award ceremony. Please make certain that you take advantage of all the opportunities we have before we get to graduation. I know next week we'll have a trivia contest. Please get online, get involved. Every time we have an opportunity to get together, you don't realize it, but these will be the last chances you get to be together. Once we graduate, it's kind of sad because you will all go your own way and on your own journey. And you have other things and greater things that you're going to accomplish in your life but you really will always be part of the class of 2021. So take advantage of the last few times we have to get together. I'm so looking forward to prom. We're gonna turn this place into a nightclub. We're gonna party at North, cause you never party at your own house. And I'm looking forward to graduation. Thank you everybody for coming out. Drive safely, have a great day.